Hello, welcome back to lesson 37. We're going for the verbs and tenses. So this is just examples, okay? So let's do it together. Past simple or simple past. Kate went to the shopping mall yesterday. So went, past, yesterday, past. I woke up late, sorry. Past progressive. Chris was singing beautiful, uh, sorry, repeat. Chris was singing a beautiful song before you rudely interrupted her. Raphael was preparing a lovely dinner for his family and friends when the phone rang. Past perfect simple. Uh, Samantha had already left for Italy. Titus has just sung the national anthem. Past perfect progressive. Cleopatra had been playing the piano when Julio Caesar walked in on her. I don't even know if they had piano at that time, but <laughs> it sounds funny. Hercules had been fighting with the monsters before Zeus decided to take away his powers. And then unfortunately, Hercules died. And we have present simple. Bob likes strawberry ice cream. The sun is a star. Present progressive. I am working on my book. Jonathan, Jonathan is reading an article on international relations. I, I, when I was writing this, I, I, know I was actually reading that book and I was working on this book. Present perfect. Uh, Christine has been to Uruguay or U Uruguay or how that, you know how would you like to say? I personally I don't like to say this name uh, this proper noun the country in English. I think it sounds better, you know, the, in its original form, Uruguay. I have lived in this town for a year now. This is me when I was living in St. Clair London. That was a year. Present perfect progressive. William has been sleeping for the past two hours. Raissa has been watching this movie on... Raissa has been watching this movie non-stop. Rule. Two singular subjects connected by or either or neither or require a single verb. Singular verb. Examples. My aunt, uh, my aunt or my uncle is arriving by train today. Neither Juan or nor Carmen is available. Either Keanu or Kasi is helping today. Okay, so we use neither, none of them, either one or the other, or I think this is very um, simple. We use or this or the other. You don't know. And nor means none of them as well. None of them. Um, future example. Jordan left the AC on. I'll turn it off in an hour. It's gonna start raining soon. Future pro uh, progressive. When my husband arrives from the meeting, I will probably be sleeping. Future perfect. I will have finished that report by tomorrow. Arrow will have been used. No. No. This is funny. Arrow will have used that bowl by now. I don't know what was in my mind when I created this. I'm sorry. Future perfect progressive. Paris will have been working on his science experience by the time his group arrives today. Troy will have been defending themselves by the, uh, uh, by the time Achilles arrives with his army. With the army. Most verbs describe actions so that they are called action verbs. Action verbs will tell the people or things, you know, how things are done. Uh, here are some common action verbs. So we have drink, look, jump, swim, fall, eat, shout, walk, throw, climb, laugh, run, sit, catch and dance. All right, uh, I hope that helped a little. Okay, so lesson 38, we're going to look at the determiners. What is a determiner? You know, sometimes we go to school and then we just forget what these little things are, but 
you know, they're there to help you. They're very simple. Okay, I'll be clarifying them. So, see you soon. Lesson 38. Bye.